that I will give you the words you need to say the time you need to say it. You don't even worry about that. It goes on and said that we have included, uh, we have included to them that the hope that they could do this same thing by the power of their words, and we, we couldn't indict them. It said, however, but the worldly agnostic, uh, <laughs> an agnostic uh, 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 words of the Holy Spirit, not, not the Holy Spirit, of the what we call the, 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 the I'm going to say the, 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 the the earthly apostles, these central seeds are here, not the apostles that were sent from the kingdom of God. They couldn't come in their ruler books to find out how did this thing take place. Preferably, it says, they would be turned to no other of course, no other choice but to know that it was done by the Holy Spirit. Now, here's another part right said. He said, how ye do this? Now, in one of the Bruce commentaries, it tells them that in the Greek, there was a significant emphasis in position on the empowerment in which they seen from the disciples. Something they never had ever dealt with, ever seen before in their life. They didn't even know it was going to take place. So they questioned and they behooved and bewildered about how did these things take place? How did it happen? And let's go back over to the Acts again once to see and see it once again. Let's look over here in Acts 7. Let's look down here in the 7 verse. Sweetheart, you want to go ahead and look at the 7 verse and take that uh, take that over? Because I know you got a new, uh, new international. I know New King James verse. That's right. You got a New King James verse. And let's look at the 7 verse again. Let's look at that in inclements really carefully how we look at that. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power or by what name have you done this? Now, the King James Version said, by what authority? What authority did such people as you do this? They looked upon them as being insufficient. Mm -hmm. And that's what people look at you sometimes. You don't have all the... All the glamour, you don't have all the flash, you don't have all the TV shows, you don't have the popular name, but they don't understand that there's more power that's in you because Jesus Christ has put it in you. It's not about what we call. See, if you're not recognized by man, mm -hmm. people don't look at you as being anything. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a large building, you have nice clothes, you don't have nice cars, you don't got the oratorical performance like they have, then they say, well, he ain't, he ain't what he say he is. Because people are so messed up on buildings. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with a building. God bless you to come in. You got to be able to fellowship and come together to be as one. But God never said that bricks and mortars are making it the kingdom of God. The Bible said, don't you know you are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Now, the word of God says iron sharpens iron. He said iron sharpens iron. He didn't say flush sharpens flush. He said iron sharpens iron. You know, iron sharpens iron. And we got to understand that in the season which we're in, is not the man that's going to make us. It's God that's going to make us. Now, the word of God does say in the book of Amos, in Amos chapter 3, he makes it very close. And he says in chapter 3, I think Amos 3 and 7, he said, God doesn't bring a word into the land unless it's revealed. Unless it's revealed through the prophet. God sends a man in a position to help you whatever it is that you're needing. And going through the area of life in which you need to go through life with. This is what God does. He's always going to send a person in position to help you to move and do the work that God's called you to do. This, this, is, this is what we talk about. You know, the Bible says don't push your trust in man. Now, I said a statement, and we got to get out of here, baby. We're going to go to the 10th verse. We're going to read this on out. But now to the 10th verse, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let you go here this morning. Thank you for joining us here at Harvest Light Church and Harvest Light Studios. Doing our educational course, and we're just really kind of just breaking the scripture up and getting you to look at some things here. Part of the Word of God talks about how, you know, it just it just mesmerized these men of God who were in the priestly council position but didn't understand the power that was coming from somebody that looked at it was a position lesser than them. And this is what we got to understand. You know, big things don't come from big places. Big things come out of small pockets, you know, packages. Now, we talk about, you know, you know, well, you know, the greatest things that happened in your life was diamond rings, little bitty boxes. There wasn't no big bow tie around some big old Mercedes or something like that. The littlest thing that brought more joy into your life is knowing that the commitment I made to you was such in a little box. And with that ring of honor, you know what I'm saying? Put this ring on ID wed in the name of Jesus. He didn't say bring me a Mercedes ID wed. But some people so caught up on the physical part of things, the material part of things, they're just blinded and don't even understand. The more I have, the better I would be. And that's how they look at it. They don't believe God is an all-sufficient God, an all-supplying God, an all-relating God, an all-revelational God. They don't believe that. So we look at the process of these Sanchezes and these Pharisees, they're just dazzled beyond belief. But how did these men, who seem to be in a less position to us, do the things they've done? It's the same thing with David. 
Look at David out there, sheep. He's out there, what, flocking the clothes. But he go to knock, and he go to knock down the wood out that giant with a stone in the middle of his head, and then took his head off because he defiled the words of the kingdom of God. They looked at David as he had what it take. You know what I'm saying? David was really announced to being king while he was still in his sheep clothes. And you got to look, really think about the process of the power of what we're speaking right here. That even when they looked upon David and they looked at all the other valid sons that seemed to have everything they had, structure, hair, beauty, and all these things. But, but, but Samson, is that not one more? And he went and got this little shepherd boy out there flocking the sheep. He didn't even look like he had what it take. But the word of God came from the kingdom through the spirit. I don't look at man the way men look at man. And that's what we have right now. Men look at you because your title, because your position, because the things you're involved in, the things you have in your background, the structures on your wall, and all your different forms, the way you turn your mouth. But God said, all oh, that ain't going to make it to the kingdom. Bob, don't you know flesh and blood won't make it to the kingdom of God? And that's somebody out there in the spirit. I just feel it in the Holy Ghost. It's talking this word because they don't want to believe it. You, you see what I'm saying? They're trying to, they built their own empire off of what they know and what they have. Education, degrees on the wall. That's fine. They got them all over here too. But you ain't got to look at them in such a way that they really bring to the point that making you feel better than anybody else. David didn't have anything. But the most powerful thing that he had is when Samuel took that flask of oil and anointed that man. And even in his sheep clothes, God had already elevated them in the spirit. Saul looked like he was on the throne for his disobedience. But through the power of God, because in his disobedience, God had denounced him, even in his royalty looks. That's why you got to be careful. You, you say that word, how you say it? Things don't appear what? It's how, not as they appear. It's not as they appear. Come on, woman of God. Amen. And I, I think also just in our, our daily lives of how when we go forth and we speak the word and we go day after day. There's there's so many people that that come against that. That just as you were saying that they they have a, a a worldly look at it. They have an educational look at it, and they don't they don't um, they aren't processed through the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. They aren't. You know, there's no other kind of wisdom and no other kind of power than the Holy Spirit has within us. Amen. And we have to just continue to go forth each and every day and and just listen to the word of God. And how, how is the, the Lord leading us? Amen. There's, there's no greater guide and there's no greater power in the word of God. Mm, 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 mm. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm on you. Yeah. And then the, I wanted to, just, to read the, the eighth verse go just a little bit further then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit and said to them rulers of the people and elders of Israel if we this day are judged for a good deed done to a helpless man by what means he has been made well well let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom you crucified whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands before you whole. Hmm. Supernaturally. Amen. They don't even understand that the, 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 those guys, Alexander, uh, Cephas, all those guys, they were of a high statue from a governmental standpoint of view. They was like lawyers or whatever it want to be, what they call themselves, uh, lawyers, uh, councilmen, whatever, and then they look like somebody who look like, you know, you ain't got no degree, you ain't got this, you ain't got that. It's kind of like the man at the beautiful gate. You know, they question him, you know, they they, 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 they want to find so much that through their system how they can discredit Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's what they do. You know, they, they, I got all these degrees, I got all these things. It's kind of like the unjust judge, you know. I mean, we're going to get into something else. We're going to go there, but we, you know, but 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 the woman got go and give us a last say. We're gonna get off of here. We're gonna go ahead. You know, uh, I, I want to just read this. Last go ahead, yo, yeah, verse. go, this yeah, yeah. Because so we want to read all out to the tenth verse. I mean, I mean, that's gonna give us what we need. I mean, where let, we going? Let me go one more. To amen, one. amen. Take it the way you want to take it. We we teach him. Come on. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. That's that. You know what? That's powerful, mm-hmm. because. I heard um, the man of God, and I talk about this man of God because he's a good friend of mine. He's a great man. He's got so much wisdom. 
He talked about the same stone, the same stone they had to roll down the hill, which is Jesus Christ. You know, we talk about how the princes of this world, he talks over there and asks for how the princes of the world didn't know. So if they'd known, they wouldn't have killed him. Amen. They didn't know. So the same stone they rolled down the hill after seeing the devastation of the power that happened on the cross, the earthquake, the shaking, Jesus going down, beating the I don't know what out of the devil, knocked him out, got his keys, and then released the captive. All those have been in hell. And, then, and, and they begin to come to believe that this man that we killed wasn't, he, he really was the son of God. But remember, that's the same stone they got to roll back up the hill. The same person we denounce in our life, even though we don't believe, come to the point of death is the same person we got to call on Amen. you wrote him down this hill all your life denying him not thinking he was going to be with you but now it comes to a point in your life that the same one you denounce and all the disciples you put down guess what on your deathbed or on your way out you got to lift him right back up the hill because he's going to be the one to save you. When the hymnologists just come with a word that tells you this and that is in your body, this is taking place. Guess what? That same one you denied as Jesus Christ, just like they did, and they rolled him down the hill to take him down to the gulf and put him up on that cross. And he began to speak the word, how tears are this is it. And the earthquakes came. They did all kinds of things to him, hammered his feet. Then when they crucified him. The same person who's got who gave you life, you got to turn them back right around and get your life back for them. Amen. Because your life is not the physical, it's the spiritual. Remember what the word of God declares the creeds of 1 Corinthians. You only became a living soul after he breathed into you. And God didn't go to the dirt but one time. He, one time, he didn't go back to the dirt no more. But everything he created, everything he put around you was for your pleasure and for your ownership. Remember, all the land, all the trees, all the beasts of the field, all of these things were put in the earth first. And then he made you to rule, to reign, to convict, to rest. Mm -hmm. And now you get to the point that the world is more pleasurable to you. And you don't believe that the power of God done in the lives of people that he's doing right now. It's when you go down, I'm telling you, when they give you that word, you, that's the same one you rejected. The same stone you rejected. You had your Mercedes, you had your house, you had the money, you had the business, you had everything around you. The same one you rejected is the same one you have to raise right back up yes, to heal you from whatever condition in your body. Because they tell me if something's broken and it's created by that manufacturer, you got to take it back to that manufacturer. That's what it tells me. I mean, you know, you want to buy the warranty? The warranty is the word of God. It's the B-I-B-L-E. It's the, it's the instructions that you need before leaving here of earth. You know, you got to be able to understand that. It's the holy instructions. It's the parable that leads you into all truth. If you're going to get a key, you better get it out of this. Woman, oh God, wouldn't go to the last words. want to get on and get ourselves a pushing on out. And uh, We thank you guys for joining and being with us on this morning. It's always a pleasure. You know, as it always, you know, for you to be with us, we, we don't take not one moment for granted uh, that what God is doing in our life and the thing he's doing for us. But we believe and declare and decree by the word, by the power of the spirit that he's so much more than we can imagine even think of. Woman God. I'm going I'm to leave you with this 12th verse. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. We just have to, to be, just be encouraged that yeah. Jesus Christ is, is the chief cornerstone. Amen. Amen. He is the rock in our life. Amen. He is the guide. He is Amen. He is our heavenly Father. Amen. Hallelujah. There's, there's no other power. Amen. Hallelujah. And continue just to go forward in, in your walk with the Lord. Amen. 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 God keep you. God bless you. For those who will be in contact with me, I left a video. I left some words of... Uh, we got some new shows that uh, that's opening, and uh, we got a we got a couple of slots that are open for those who wanna. If you're starting your ministry, you wanna kind of get your name out there. You wanna get known. As I said before, you you're under representation of Harvest New Life. And we don't wanna put anything out there. Uh, we wanna make sure that everything we give you to help you to go forth is gonna something that's coming from the kingdom of God. Now, in this particular package that we have, it, it really helps you produce all your graphic arts. Um, 
you know, get a chance to have uh, you know, uh, the, the slots that we have open. We have a six o'clock slot open on Monday. 